Today's episode is going to be adding drivers to System Center. And for those who ha do have access, you're just going to download the drivers. In this case, we're going to download the Dell driver pack for an Octoplex 790 in Windows 7. So I'm going to go to the driver pack page, scroll down to Octoplex 790 for Windows 7. And I'm going to go ahead and download this. Go ahead and pause the video so you don't have to wait. Our CAV file has completed. We're going to go ahead and move this over to the server. And that's going to be in our driver's source. We separate it out by operating system. And we have family cabs in the root and system individual cabs right here. So again, this is in the driver source location. Just a quick touch. The source is the original drivers. The packages we will touch a little bit later. Um, you always want to put the originals in the source location. So I'm going to go ahead and extract these to a subfolder. Alright, and we did complete. So I don't need any original cab anymore. But as you can see, the extracted folder is right here. I tend to pull out the x86 and shorten the entire path by getting rid of these two folders. So out of system cab we just have the originally named folder 64 and x86 folders. And ideally we're naming the folders by their family, model, revision, and course what OS these are for. So this is an A08 revision for Windows 7 off the click 790. From here we need to import the drivers and I have set aside some driver instructions on some basics uh, on what the pages will cover these right here but for future reference I do have that in the root of drivers. And I'll go ahead and bring over Config Manager and our driver tab is going to be in the software library. Go to the operating system under drivers. Now to start there should not be any drivers in the root. After each import we move them into an appropriate folder so they stay out of here. I'll show you that in a second. But if you right click on top of drivers, we're going to go ahead and hit import drivers. From here, we're going to go to our SCCM server and share packages. And again, to that same folder where we just extracted drivers, driver source, Windows 7, this was a system cab, and the Octoplex 790A08 revision for Windows 7. I'm going to import the 64 and the x86 individually and I'll show you the reason for that. Specify the options. This can stay default. Import the driver and append new categories to the existing categories. Now that might have taken a while but once complete you should have a screen like this and you have a couple options up here. You can hide the drivers that are not stored in network. That is, if you're importing drivers specifically to manipulate a boot image, you can easily find those. And hide drivers that aren't digitally signed. Uh, presumably all our drivers are going to be signed. But if there is a reason, you can uncheck that box and locate the unsigned driver. Now, the reason that I only wanted to do the 64-bit drivers individually is when it comes down to the categories. So in here, 
we can break apart. Sometimes you're going to want to bring in the 32 and 64. In my case, I do not want 32-bit drivers to exist on my 64-bit deployment. So I want to create its own category, and which we'll create here in a minute, a package. Category is just a label. And it will look something like this. Which again, just correlating with how we're doing everything else. The operating system, manufacturer, um, family model architecture. Now I am also going to add in the category. I can do as many categories as I want, but the existing all Windows 7 64 bit is that category is already in use in um, task sequences. So any new drivers at this package will tag those into that category and they will automatically update into that task sequence. So again, I have in this case, I want a 764 and individually the Optiplex 790. Okay, now this screen is asking for the driver package. Now this is uh, different than a category. The category can, uh, it's just essentially a label. The driver package is actually uh, content that is stored on the distribution point. We're going to do both. Um, so we do want to create a driver package and presumably since there wasn't a label created there isn't already a driver package for the Autoplex 790 but as we scroll down here we do have all Autoplex Windows 7 series and then model specifics will be at uh, latitude and Autoplex as we see here we do not have the 790 individually so we're going to create a new package Again, let's follow the same naming scheme. And we're going to need to store this content somewhere. And we're going to store it in a similar place. And the packages share drivers. But instead of the source, this is where that package comes in. So again, we're breaking it out by operating system. And then by the actual individual cabs themselves. So we're going to create a folder. We're just going to keep that naming scheme the same. Outplex 790 is 64 bit only. And we'll select that folder where we'll copy these drivers to. Okay. And on top of this, we can choose to, again, as we did with the uh, categories, add these drivers into other logical location. So I do have one called All Drivers. It's a uh, very broad catch-all. I do have an Autoplex Series Windows 7 for 64-bit. All Autoplex drivers go in here, so if there's any new ones, we will tag that. And that should be it. The rest are just model specific. So in this case we tag three. All, the Series cab, and the model specific. Now this prompt is just letting you know that anytime you create content, you must actually distribute that content to the distribution point. And this is giving you a warning. I'm going to actually hit no on this. Uh, there's been a few uh, versions of Config Manager where hitting yes actually broke. I've just gotten in a good habit of hitting no and manually doing it. Plus I'll get to show you how to manually do that. And our last option is going to be if we want to add any of these drivers to a boot image. We do not. Our intent is the system cab itself, so none get checked. Okay, summary and continue. Now this process is going to take a while. Again, I'll go ahead and pause the video. All right, now once done, you will be prompted with the completion page. And we're going to see some new drivers in the root. Now remember what I told you, the root should be empty. And that means that we should move these drivers out to an appropriate storage location. So the next time we move drivers in, that will be empty. Now since these are system specific, we will store them in our system cab. Go ahead and right click and create new folder. And again, we'll just keep the naming scheme the same. So here's the 790. Come back here. 
Control A, select all. Right click on your drivers, hit move. System cab, Windows 7, 790 for 64 bit only. All right. And here's all our drivers. And if you remember the category location that we checked, we checked all Windows 64 and the system cab specific. This is that tag and where it gets tagged here. So anytime you want to look up a driver, you can see what category it is applied to. Now remember, we also added that to a driver package, which is actually what we're going to use in the task sequence. That package we said no to distribute content. So we come down here to our driver package. Now this should have created the driver package itself because we created it during the import process. And here we see it. And as you can see differently, this big green button here is uh, green. And when we go here, it is uh, gray, unknown. That means it is not distributed. It is not on our distribution point. So the task sequence will fail. Simple enough, right click on top distribute content. It should be pretty much straightforward. That's the package we want to distribute. We're going to add this distribution point into our primary distribution point group. And that will go ahead and transpire in the background. You may want to keep a close eye on it just to make sure it does turn green and it does register successful. Um, right now it's currently in progress. It shouldn't take very long, probably less than five minutes. Okay, as you can see here, we've succeeded on one of our distribution points. We do have two at the moment, and the other one is still in progress. All right, both have distributed, and everything should be up on the distribution point at this time. Now after this, I have made another video on how to add drivers into the task sequence. It is labeled SSCM adding drivers into a task sequence. I'll go ahead and put a link up there. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, you know how to reach us.